Nobody said it was going to be easy getting into a squash. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I am getting ready to can some acorn squash. I'm trying to find the easiest way I can to peel these things. And I think this works. I took the bottom off, and I'm taking the peels off. Then I'll go back right quick and get the areas that I missed. Who likes acorn squash? I really like it. I like to bake it. I put butter, cinnamon, brown sugar in there. Why don't ways do you all eat acorn squash? I'd really like to know because I'm always looking for something new to make, new recipes, a new way to preserve things. I have never canned squash before, so this is going to be a first for me. So I'm really hoping that I like it, that it turns out, according to everything I've read, it's good. I mean, you can pumpkin, why not can squash? What's the difference? So I've cut my squash in half. I'm going to rake out the seeds into my scrap bowl. Guys, I have already saved a bunch of acorn squash seeds. So, I'm not going to keep all of these, but tidbit, my chickens love them. They are like pumpkin seeds. They're a natural dewormer for your livestock. Just saying. Or, you could clean them up and roast them like you do pumpkin seeds. Just depends on what you want to do with them. But right now, I'm just cutting the squash up into some cubes. Throwing it in my measuring cup. And I'll bring you along when I get ready to put it in the jars. I got all of the uh, squash peeled and diced. And now the next step on this is to blanch it, which basically means putting cubes of something, this time it's the squash, into boiling water. And then after it comes back up to a boil, I'm going to boil it for two minutes. Alrighty, these have boiled for two minutes. Now I'm going to remove them and get the next batch going. Have you guys ever canned acorn squash? But I'm going to try a little experiment with some of this. Earlier this summer, I dry canned potatoes and carrots. They're fantastic. I was told that you can do that with any root vegetable. So, I have two half pints that I'm going to give it a shot with. You'll never know if you don't try. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's blanched, it's processed, it just will not have water added to the jars like I will with these. So, hopefully it'll turn out good. got all of the uh, squash blanched and with clean hands I'm putting it down into my jar this is one of the jars that I'm going to dry can so I have a pat of butter in here and my squash nothing else I'm just wiping the uh, lid off. Can I have one, Jackson? Okay. Jackson's giving me the ring and the flat. Just going to put it on here, tighten it up, put it in my canner. I sincerely hope that this is half as good for the uh, squash as what it is for potatoes and carrots because I'm telling you. 
I'll link the video to that, by the way. But that is the best way I have ever found to can potatoes. That's why I thought I would do this like this. Okay, I need another lid here in just a second, buddy. Wiping it off. Thank you. Okay. I already have water sitting in my canner. But before I forget it, I have to add my vinegar. Why do I add vinegar? I have limestone water. And if I don't add vinegar, then it's going to get that white film all over all of my jars. And I would have to clean it off afterwards. So I definitely prefer to add my uh, vinegar now rather than have to clean the jars later. It just works out better that way. Okay. For my next jars, I've got the, uh, I have the squash down in there. Just gonna use a knife and push down the squash. Make sure I fill as many areas as possible. Okay, now I'm gonna get a ladle of hot water after I put my thing back on here. My canning funnel, it works better that way, guys. Otherwise, you almost saw me make a mess. Wouldn't be the first time. All right. Now, I'll put it back over there where it was. And I'll wipe it off again. Jackson, I need a. Uh, <laughs> oh, That's you're okay. ready. Cut me covered. Well, thank goodness for my boys. This one's a little hot, so I need to hold that one with a cloth. Put it up there and repeat the process until they're done. Then we'll get them all in the canner and hopefully all of them seal and we have got a fantastic start for a meal. Because who doesn't love butternut squash? To me, it tastes like a pumpkin pie without the crust and I was thinking hmm if I have this can then I have a huge leg up in getting the meal going have you guys ever canned squash have you canned butternut acorn patty pan I have even seen some videos on YouTube myself today where people are canning zucchini and yellow squash. And that really surprised me. I have not tried that, but that will definitely be a project for next year. I'll show you what they look like in a bit. Alrighty, there they are. They're done. I didn't have enough jars of squash to totally fill a canner. So what I did was filled jars with water and put them in there. And that way it kept it from uh, knocking the jars around and them rolling around everywhere. They look absolutely beautiful. And 
And you see these are plumb full of liquid up to the top. And these two are the ones that I've done the uh, experiment on. They're dry can without any liquid. That way we have more like a roasted flavor. But there you go, guys. That's just how easy it is to preserve acorn squash in a jar. The thing about those that gets me is it takes a long time in the canner. I had to process these pints for 55 minutes. And that was really a surprise. It would be a lot easier to freeze them. But, this way they don't take up freezer space and they're already done. But thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.